In this lecture, we will quickly go through the benefits of Six Sigma. In the introductory lecture, we saw these six benefits of Six Sigma. Sustained success, project selection, profit focus, customer satisfaction, engaged employees, and shareholder value. Now we will cover all these points in detail. The first benefit is sustained success. Six Sigma gives sustained success. And when I say sustained success, that means whatever gain we are achieving today, it's not just for today. These successes are ongoing. You will be repeating these successes day after day, month after month, and year after year. So if you have improved process today, that process not only saves you money today, but also for upcoming years. The second benefit is project selection. As we know, Six Sigma can help in getting sustained success. But the question is, from where do we get this success? Sustained success comes from projects. And when we do project selection, there are a number of opportunities to have improvement. But not all the improvements will go for Six Sigma. Only those improvements which are linked to company strategy or which are linked to company success will go through Six Sigma methodologies. The third benefit is profits focus. So the selection process in Six Sigma is in such a way that you select those projects which can help the organization in achieving its strategic objectives and by doing this, the focus is on profits. You can link this point to the organizational challenges where providing services in the low cost was one of the challenges organizations face. And with Six Sigma, we can achieve it. The main point is, whatever improvements you do, at the end of the day, the focus is on the bottom line. How much money would it save? If it is of good quality, you will get more customers and you can increase the price of your product that will lead to profit. The fourth benefit is customer satisfaction. If you make your product faster, then you can make more products per day that will lead to profits. So whatever you do in Six Sigma, the end game of that is to increase profits and you increase profit by having better customer satisfaction. The fifth benefit is engaged employee. Organizations which are implementing Six Sigma concepts have a higher employee morale. There is a higher engagement of employees because employees are engaged in the process of what they are doing. They work to make those processes better day by day. And this engagement with the work process improvement process is tied up to reward and recognize systems in Six Sigma. So you have a reward and recognition system also in organizations which are implementing Six Sigma. So if employees work on an improvement project, they save huge money. Out of that, they are rewarded and recognized in the organization that will lead to a higher employee morale. The fifth benefit is stakeholder value. All these things at the end will lead to a more profit and will lead to shareholder or the stakeholder value. So stakeholder or the shareholders will get more value for the investment which they have made in the organization because the profits are going up the wastes are going down, things are being made consistently, things are being made on time, and new products are being launched. With all these things, the company value or the organization value goes up, and that's all they are interested in to have higher value for the organization. These were the benefits of Six Sigma. Sustained success, project selection, profit focus, customer satisfaction, engaged employees, and shareholder value. If you look at this, Six Sigma really helps in handling most of the challenges which organizations are facing these days.